Good morning, National Civic League. I'm Vice Mayor Mike of the great city of... Wilton Manors! Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be here. Good morning, Wilton Manners. Are you ready to bring us home? Yeah! yeah. You may begin. Awesome. Are we ready, Wilton Manners? Ready! Let's play the video. Hi, I'm Scott Newton, the mayor of Wilton Manors, and I want to express my gratitude to the National Civic League. When our city engaged in a long overdue charter review process a few years ago, the league's guidance, models, and templates were invaluable for a small city like ours. My family was one of the pioneer families of our city, so I am homegrown mayor and I'm proud to also be part of the bridge to our future. We are an all-American city and I believe our diversity is the very thing that makes us so. Everyone is welcome here. Welcome to the island city. We may be small, we may be presenting last, but we are a formidable community where everyone is welcome. Today, we'll be talking with you about how we are bridging our community through our city's strategic plan, focusing on key initiatives like infrastructure, economic development, quality of life, fiscal responsibility, a high performing government, and environmental sustainability. Reflecting on our city's 75th anniversary just last year, I am amazed to see our journey from a seminal tribal settlement to a sleepy bedroom community. And now, a vibrant, bustling, urban, LGBTQ community in the heart of South Florida. So join us today as we explore how we are building bridges to strengthen our community, to ensure that Wilton Manors remains a beacon of hope, democracy, and inclusivity. We proudly embrace our reputation as not only a tourist destination for the LGBTQ community, but a home. According to our local tourism board, approximately 1.7 million LGBTQ visitors made their way to Wilton Manors last year alone. I am the chair of the Pride Center at Equality Park an LGBTQ plus community center that serves as home to many organizations. We proudly host many resident driven events, civic and social forums, including voter registration drives, topical town halls, and the nation's largest weekly gathering of LGBT seniors called Coffee and Conversation. I retired to South Florida after a long career in public health, overseeing federal programs in HIV for the US Department of Health and Human Services. Wilton Manors is my safe haven, source of my social, my spiritual life, where I can give back to the community in meaningful ways. And because everyone is welcome here. Hi, I'm Chef Josie. I'm a resident and small business owner who also chose to live and work here. I, as a finalist of Bravo TV's Top Chef, it was super important for me to open my first ever restaurant in a city where everyone is welcome. And it makes so much sense that when the police introduced the Safe Place program, I enthusiastically stepped up to participate. And now for the 10th consecutive year, we have scored a perfect score of 100 on the uh, human, uh, the human, sorry, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the human rights campaign uh, municipal equality index. And that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Hi, I'm a native of Walton Manors. My mother moved to the city in 1957 and my father, a Vietnam veteran, worked for the city for more than 20 years. My five siblings and I were part of the free range kid culture. And as the city evolved, the one thing that did not change was the reputation as a family friendly place with constant community collaborations. The city hosts more than a dozen family focused events annually and has one of the county's most affordable aftercare and summer camp programs. My son Daniel is an active participant. So I guess that makes me the future of Wilton Manors. Yeah! One size does not fit all when it comes to community engagement. 
That's why we meet people where they are by providing a wide range of options for public input. We educate trusted community voices and reach out to residents through all possible platforms, including digital and printed newsletters, surveys, social media, and verbal communication. The public is invited to speak about any topic at literally every public meeting, and our residents consistently fill the room at commission meetings and other public events. I am Matthew, and I am one of those trusted voices. My partner and I chose Wilton Manors as our home in retirement. Our city has a vibrant community of volunteers like myself. During the pandemic, a committed group of volunteers conducted a weekly food distribution event. And for those who could not come to us, we went to them. We deliver to the homebound residents. Two residents have mapped all of the public art installations of the city and created an interactive map called In Plain Sight. Another resident goes about town and picks up trash a few days a week. And of course, we have a number of residents who are committed to serving on our boards and commissions. Our city has a substantial population of older residents, and we just hit the five-year milestone of being a World Health Organization AARP age, livable age-friendly community. Key accomplishments include partnering on the residents at Equality Park, a world-class 48-unit affordable housing community with customized support services for seniors, distribution of a senior resource guide, and the stand-up of one of the region's first vaccination centers. Wilton Manors is a great place for people to live as they age. Hi, I'm Andy, the Artistic Director of Island City Stage, a professional nonprofit theater proudly named after the city we serve. Surprisingly, our company wasn't founded by theater artists, but by community members who saw a need to tell all of the themes and ideas that are experienced by the diverse LGBTQ community and allies. 12 years ago when we were founded, our budget was about $25,000. Today, our operating budget is close to a million dollars. That only happens through community engagement. Our residents often tell us they cherish the small town feel of Wilton Manors, and that's what makes it home to so many of us. Ensuring our cities are safe and secure is at the heart of what we do. So today we'll be highlighting three key projects that really underscore our commitment to maintaining and enhancing the quality of life that we have in Wilton Manors. I'm the proud hometown police chief in Wilton Manors. The LGBTQ plus community are living in an increasingly hostile climate, experiencing a greater threat of hate crimes and violence. For the first time in over 40 years, the HRC declared a national state of emergency. And as a result, we launched our Safe Place program. This program creates a network of safe havens for members of the LGBTQ plus and other marginalized groups who may fall victim to crime or harassment. Today, over 45 of our local businesses display this safe place decal on their windows, signaling to those on the outside that they have been trained on how to provide a safe haven and how to communicate and take care of those victims until police can arrive. Good morning. Climate resilience is a must in South Florida to ensure a health and safe future. I've been a realtor in Wilton Manors for over 10 years, and I have seen the impacts of climate change firsthand. When the city conducted a flooding vulnerability assessment, they tapped into resident experts like myself, as well as young people and local students to participate in the steering committee. As a member of that group, I am proud to say the final product was improved by the young people's involvement. As an island, Wilton Manors is at the tip of the spear for climate change. We are ensuring our infrastructure is prepared for increasing temperatures, rising seas, and more severe weather events. The goal is to reduce greenhouse gases and increase resilience, essential to ensuring that our city can be passed on to young people like Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> We're addressing the problem on multiple fronts. Recognizing that municipal boundaries are arbitrary, we joined with our neighbor, the city of Oakland Park, to create a joint climate action plan. The city also has a suite of tools in our, to incentivize residents and businesses to be more resilient. Swale restoration, energy efficient appliances, solar incentives, rideshare discounts, and an on-demand electric shuttle, just to name a few. Finally, we would like to highlight our main street, Wilton Drive. The drive consists of about a mile of shops, restaurants, and small businesses. It is also a state road with lots of rules and interjurisdictional challenges. Cut through traffic was rampant, 
Speeding was out of hand, and there were multiple fatalities and serious injuries over the years. Through collaboration with all levels of government and many public charrettes, workshops, and meetings, we widened sidewalks, narrowed the roadway, landscaped it with lots of public input, added bike lanes, and lowered the speed. Now it is a complete street and a proper main street. Our story in Wilton Manors is a vibrant tale of hope, democracy, and inclusivity. We are different, but we are all the same. So we stand here together as friends and colleagues committed to building on this legacy. Today, we literally and symbolically built a bridge to the future generations of Wilton Manors, a city where everyone